Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. So what is this video about? Well, uh, it's about the modular and uh, it's about um, using the maths module as a, as a way of sort of uh, creating melodies, like a kind of using it like a sort of like a sequencer. I mean, not really like a sequencer. Um, one of the things that I uh, took into great consideration whilst I was putting together this was that I didn't really want to use any sequences uh, and instead I wanted to use I guess um, events uh, signals or whatever in order to generate uh, musical ideas and I'm going to be cheating slightly by using braids because braids has a built-in quantizer um and uh, a built-in envelope which I, uh, ADSL which I suspect I'll use uh whilst doing whilst doing this um but really what I wanted to think about was uh the way that uh you can use maths as a way to generate signals that can then be quantized and then turn into interesting sequences which is basically what I'm going to do uh, right now. So how am I going to do that? I don't know. This is a very new format for me uh, in terms of shooting a video. So I better drink some beer and see how uh, see how uh, we get on with things. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take either uh, one or two channels uh, I, whoops uh, Maybe the sum, I don't know. But basically, I'm just going to take a signal out of the maths, run it into the uh, ex uh, external, in on the, external in on the woggle bug with the woggle down so that I can just basically get a sample and hold signal out of that, which I'll drive into the uh, volt per octave on the braids, which will effectively give me my uh, sequence. So... Guess I'll just try that now. Here we go. So let's come out. Let's come out of one. Let's come out of one. There we go, it's happening. I tell you what, why don't we go uh, via the MMG? Let's just... A little bit of filter. Oh, everyone likes that, don't they? So, what we've got here is we've got the cycle from the maths. This is uh, set to cycle, which is creating like a cycle coming into the uh, sample and hold on the woggle bug, which is uh, triggering the, uh, if I go to braids and then if I go to... Uh, what have we got here? The quantizer's on. Oh, the quantizer's set to Dorian. That's fine. That's cool. I think the uh, saw the trigger source is set to auto. So, so basically, if I play around with the the curve on this first channel, I get some sequences, which is really nice. So right now I'm just playing with the uh, curve, the uh, rise and fall. I haven't really played with the uh, attenuator here. It 
really is a endless source of great musical ideas, I find. Well, what I was thinking about doing was, uh, whilst I was uh, w walking home tonight thinking about how I was going to do this video, I was thinking um, I could take the sum out from maths and use one uh, channel to do like a kind of very fast uh, curve and then use another one to create a very slow rising curve so that I could maybe try and make like a sort of arpeggiated, not an arpeggiated type thing, but sort of a, a rising musical phrase. So, so I guess if I sort of just dial everything back to... So I've got the second channel set to a very slow, hang on a minute, no, that's a slow, let's go for a slow rise. And then let's set this one to a very fast rise and fall, then dial in. So it's kind of rising up now, it's rising up the phrase. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun. Excuse me. <laughs> the other thing I was thinking was, um, if I got a clock from somewhere, if I got a clock, so right now I'm uh, just using the uh, clock on the Wogglebug. bug. Because I'm, I'm going to take a clock out of, uh, hang on a minute, a clock out. I'm going to take a clock out of the uh, 4MS. Uh, delay so I can clock that and then I was thinking what if I could re-trigger a sequence uh, on the maths by going into my clock divider here then I'll just take a take a little ping out of there Um, and what do we have? Nothing. So I'm thinking, my thinking is, is that like every time I get a trigger out of here, I'll trigger a new cycle of this. Do I need cycle on? There we go. There we go. Let's go to channel one and see where we're going. That's kind of weird. So I would have, I would have thought that I would get a new 
a repeating cycle of that every time that triggered. That's clocked. The Wogglebug is clocked. No, it didn't. It didn't do what I was expecting. Never mind. We're having a good time. It's fine. Let's go back into some. Let's go back into some. Let's loop that. Let's loop that channel. So this hasn't gone according to plan at all, but like, uh, who cares? We're having a good time. Okay, now we're triggering in the cycle, right? All right, why don't I get another, let's get another trigger out of there. Let's There we go. That's kind of cool. It's all right. basically like how I've been sort of using maths as a uh, kind of sequencer really well not really a sequencer but more a sort of a, a melodic generator and I'm having good fun with it yeah especially with braids braids makes it quite easy because of the quantizers built in and Oh dear. Yeah, so there you go. That was uh, my little modular blog. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Bye.